What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig, and we're going to go over the charts. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin. We're going to take a look at where my shorts at. And also, at the end of the video, you're going to want to stick around. We're going to take a look at that BNB chart we've been looking at for a long time. Also, going to break it down into a smaller move and see what we could expect, uh, both the higher and the lower uh, targets. So, definitely stick around if that does sound good to you. Make sure you take one second out, scroll down. Under the video, smash that thumbs up and let's get into it. Also, uh, my Discord, people were saying the link wasn't working below the video. I did change that link. I put a new one in there. So definitely check that out for the free Discord. I will be giving away some 20% bonuses on top of your deposits for Prime XBT today. So make sure you join. Let's get into it. So looking at um, the tweet from January 23rd, where I even put retweet, shorted the shit out of Bitcoin at 31,420 with stops at 31,6. And here's why. And we're going to play that video real quick just to show you. But the measured move of this in the super bullish case scenario would be the measured mo move of the channel, bringing it up to where it broke out. That gets you to 31,5. Now, I made this video five months ago so i was talking about that 31.5 five, five months ago and i did do exactly what i said short at 31.5 right now we're at about 30,285, definitely in profits now i could take some profits here but guys i don't risk more than i'm willing to lose and that's what you should be doing if you trade make sure you use stops play in your trades stick with your trade usually when you change trades in the middle because of emotion it gets you wrecked. So um, as of right now, I am still in my short here. Um, I plan on moving my stops down once we passed. You know, once we get past like 29.4, I'll move them to back to around 30,100 to put them in small profits, right? Um, yeah, a lot of people just don't get the trading thing and they think you get liquidated if you get stopped out. That's not what happens. People think of liquidation as you lose everything. Well, if you're trading properly, your main focus should be to preserve capital, not to get rich off of one trade, right? Preserve capital. Anyways, so that 31.5, that's where we're at now. And if we look at the fibs, we drew some fibs in here. The 0.236 fibs around 27.7. Then we have the 25.3. We'll also take a look at the daily chart and show you um, what I talked about about the same time about the three three weeks ago or so i talked about another high target if 31.5 is broken where i will re-enter my short if i get stopped out at 31.6 uh, if you guys are interested in trading before we go any further check out my sponsor prime xbt by far the best exchange out there in my opinion uh, you could trade crypto forex gold silver oil s p dow jones all from one exchange you can hedge your trades, meaning you can have multiple trades in longs and short at the same time without it clumping them all together like the scammy exchanges. You can use my link down below and also promo code SAVVY50 will get you up to a $7,000 bonus to use towards your margin. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. I'll also leave a tutorial at the end of the video. Let's take a look at the weekly on Bitcoin real quick. Remember, we'll check out BNB at the end of this video. That seems to be playing out beautifully. So forget all the four-year cycle stuff you hear about all the time, right? That's how a lot of markets get messed up. I'm also going to show you guys bubble pop pattern and how they work and why they work, right? Which I believe we're in right now, just a bear market rally, um, only to continue to the downside. And this is nothing different than's happened in any other bubbles. But first of all, let's look at the weekly bearish divergence. So we go from this high here to our high we're at now right here we had this is exaggerated divergence we were straight across on the rsi much lower on the on the price action i do think our next leg down is coming very soon as stated for the last two years i said i think the bottom would be in september october of 2023 i'll also leave that video at the end of the video up top so you can check it out now let's look at this high here and this high here, right? Lower highs. And if we look at it on the RSI, higher highs. That is hidden bearish divergence. 
Hidden divergence is a continuation of the trend. This is still a weekly downtrend, right? In the big chart, the big picture. And then if we look at this high here and this high here, we made a higher high where I have this yellow line. We made a lower high in the RSI. That is bearish divergence, right? That's a reversal of trends. So this little trend here, the reverse has started in my opinion. Now again, we'll look at the daily and I'll show you what could be our next move, right? So I made this chart here a few weeks back and said if we broke this 31.5, we could go as high as 32.8. So if I get stopped at 31.6, my next short is around 32.8. That is still what I'm looking for. You can also see right here on the daily chart, we made higher highs right here, lower highs right here. That is bearish divergence, right? At the top of the trend, trend reversal. Now, one more thing I want to talk about real quick is the gaps. People say you have to use the daily for gaps on a CME. That is incorrect in my opinion. The CME trades um Six days a week, it's closed on Saturday. There is no Saturday candles in this, right? So the, if you use eight-hour candles, those are trading periods. The eight-hour gaps, the next one down is 11.2. And then we have 97.40. After that, 76.30. And the lowest one at 35.70. I do think it is very possible we get a wick down to here sometime by the end of this year. I still believe that as a possibility. Nevertheless, I still think we see under 10K, which would be to close this gap at 9740. Could I be wrong? Yes. None of this is financial advice. What I've been showing you for over two years has not changed. All right, here is the bubble pop pattern, right? So as you notice in the Amazon bubble right here, we had some huge rallies. This doesn't look big, but that was over 100%. It was from 42 cents all the way back up to 91 cents. This is how bear market rallies work. They get everyone bullish, think it's going back up. It happens over and over. You can even look at the simple cheat sheet, market cheat sheet, right? Google it. Um, it always has false bottoms. And then there's a long period of accumulation. And most of these long periods of accumulation, people back out, get out, um, never come back while big money is just accumulating for the next big run. As you can see, they always return to where they began. Uh, let me show you another example. Here's Nintendo. Same thing. Huge rally. Everything's great. The world is all peaches and cream, and it's continuing back up. No, we had the real bottom. Always continues back to where it began, right? Same thing over here. Bitcoin, I believe, needs to come down to at least these levels, 9,600 to 3,500. I'm still sticking to that 100%. Uh, let's see something else here. Here is Sony. Same thing, guys. Return right back to where the bubble began. Right back down to this would be where Bitcoin goes. Now, here's the BNB video. I'm not going to play the video right now, but you can go back and look at it yourself. This was six months ago. I talked about this Binance going way down, possibly within six months. Three to six months, I had said, to be accurate in the video. As you can see where we're at right now. Now, if we get back above this 26.3 range and hold support, that, that makes it a little less likely. Does it make it not likely? It makes it a little less likely. If we get above this 30 or 334, then we could consider this being invalid. But guys, I do believe Binance is in huge trouble. BNB is showing it. And here is zoomed in on the daily, right? So as you can see here, I, we have the yellow triangle being a bear flag from right here, right? And here's your bear flag targets. This is in the more immediate, right? The weeks, not months. It could be months before we see the big crash. Uh, but as you can see, if we look at the 55 EMA here. So if I take this bottom line and clone it, then this could end up being the bear flag. So we could go up as high as that 261 to 262, 263 range, right? Before getting rejected to come back down. Um, if we break back above this and hold support, then we will have to reconsider and take a look at what's going on. But as of right now, still looking like uh, just a bear flag here. Here are the targets of the flag, right? Put it in here. Uh, the first one being 191. If we are to break, uh, 228 I'd look for 199 for a bounce zone 
Might even get a bounce and a retest of this before continuing down. So this could take time, but let's look at it as this is the flagpole. This being the bear flag and put it to the bottom. Where would that be? Around 120 or 147. Although I think it'll go much lower than that once we get to those levels. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, even if you didn't, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Make sure to check out the Discord link below. Check out these videos up top. Um, everything in these videos is still playing out. Uh, also, the Prime XBT tutorial. And I am going to be having a trading competition, so stay tuned. Take it easy, guys. I'm out.